Hey guys, a quick video today. I'm gonna install a rear subframe uh, lockdown uh, bolts on an 06 uh, Impre uh, Subaru Impreza STI. Uh, it probably probably works from an 04 up to an 07. Uh, I, I'm guessing definitely 05, 06, 07. Maybe, I'm probably 04s as well. Anyways, uh, I was looking for uh, solid bushings or polyurethane bushings, but solid ones would be uh, better, made from aluminum. And uh, this is for the, it's, there's four of them and they hold the, the rear subframe or cradle or cross member. There's all kinds of names for it and here they are all right it is these guys here obviously inside you got to take the diff off all these trailing arms uh, they gotta go differentials gotta go and the whole subframe rear subframe comes off and then you have access to the bushings they are rubber stock or rubber ones they are inside there's two more on the other side this is your whole subframe here these are the two bolts that hold it hold it up on the on the passenger side and here is the driver's side so as you can see all of this has got to come off then you gotta basically put it on a, either, either cut them out or put it on a press and press them out. But luckily for me, guys at Six Star Motorsports, Subaru specialists, a local shop, I actually did find those solid bushings, but uh, right after I almost ordered them, um, I did call uh, the Six Star Motorsport guys and one guy, Told me a little trick. Well, I guess it's not a trick anymore. These are the lockdown bolts. Basically, you install them right in there. It's just your regular grade 10 bolt with this funny kind of an insert. I will stay. Right here, I guess the bolt will push it up, I hope. Now, these holes are already threaded. But since this car is a 13-year-old car, those two threads are not looking too good. I don't know if you can see it. They were never in use before. Maybe you can see it now. See how rusted it is on the inside. So before we do anything, gotta clean them out. First, I'm just gonna spray some PB Blaster in there. This is an M12 1.25 thread. Okay, there we go, we got in. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Uh, it's kind of hard to catch the right angle, but yeah, looks like it's gonna work.
I'm gonna torque it down just so the torque is the same on both sides. I'm thinking 50. We'll see where it takes us. There we go. That was 50. All right, I'm gonna go do the other side. Here we go. Passenger side is done, and that's it. Saves a lot of time. I had this thing off. I mean, uh, not the um, the subframe, but the diff. But it's still, it would be. Then it was just a matter of fall bolt for uh, the bushing, for bushing bolts, and the whole thing would come off. But then it would be a lot of work still to remove them and uh, press in uh, new ones. So this saves a lot of work and time, and it's much cheaper. I think. 40 bucks compared to 130, 150, maybe even 200 for the polyurethane ones. That's it for this one. I will report back on on the difference that it on the difference that it made. I did have quite a bit of wheel hop uh, before. I hope I was told that uh, this will eliminate most of the wheel hop up to 90%, for example. So, next autocross, I am probably, if I'm going to be able to launch uh, at the start, I will. And just to check it out, see if I do have any wheel hub. Uh, I did actually mess up my rear diff launching and, and having a while I still had wheel hub. Uh, the wheel hub only happened in the, in the back. So hopefully this will fix that and it will for sure stiffen up the rear suspension all right i will report back see you guys later